Okay, today we're going to embroider a canvas tote bag or a canvas bag. And I'm going to show you that from the very beginning because people have been asking me, show me more stuff. So we're going to start off, start off by showing you how the different ways to possibly um, center the bag and to actually hoop the bag. And since we're using our magnetic hoop, it's going to make it easy. So uh, here's a bag. It's a tote bag. It's black, of course, as you can see. This one has some gussets, as you can see right here. Makes it a little tougher to uh, handle because of this. Most of them don't have this, but this particular one does. So we've made a mark, and, and all I've done to make a mark is a little piece of masking tape. Get your tape measure out. This is a 15 inch tall bag, seven and a half inches. Put it in the center, make your little dot, or you can take something like these things color coding labels and they have little dots and you can take those little dots and you can put them where you want to and that's where you want to have your center then that's where it's going to be so there's a couple of different ways of doing that so think about those things uh, people use a marking pin I never do use a marking pin because um, I don't like the fool with the marking pins in this case I can just rip that off and I'm done. I don't have to clean it up. I don't have to do anything. Same thing with the dot. It just comes right off there. All you're doing is centering it. This is the cheapest way, of course. This is not for production. It's going to take you longer to do it on an ironing board. And as you can see, that's what we're using here, an ironing board. So you're going to have to you know, figure it out and you're going to have to keep adjusting it and make little, little maybe tape or something to show you the exact marks to put that hoop master hoop every time uh, the magnetic hoop so let's go on to that and show you the next thing I would use if I was going into production so we'll do that next okay we got a lot of those bags we got a production job we're not just doing one or two we got a bunch of them we want to make it quicker faster we want to do them a lot quicker faster the freestyle arm is the way to go that freestyle arm is made by Hoopmaster and we're using the magnetic hoop by Hoopmaster and this will make it a lot faster. We'll be showing you that process and that's coming up right after this. Okay, we've got our Hoopmaster set up. We got it on the got it set up and we're ready to roll here. Um I'm going to show you a few tricks now. Um as you can see we got it centered we got it pretty good uh, these little pins here are about the center right here uh, within a reasonable it's reasonable right there it's just sometimes I like them to be a little higher than the center so it's all your customers preference they could want the logo up at the top it's what your customer wants a lot of people say well where do you put it well you can put it in the center you can put it a little above the center that's where I like to be center or above the center or if the customer wants it toward the top, of course, you do it where the customer wants it. The best way to show them is to embroider one out. Here we have an embroidery swatch. Embroider one out, put a little tape on the back, and put it wherever you want it. Then show it to them. Take a look. You like it there? Great. Don't like it there? make your adjustments when you do finally get your adjustments all you have to do is take a piece of tape this is just a piece of masking tape once you have it exactly where you want it at the top of the freestyle arm take some tape and put it up here for your mark that's where you're going to come to you can take any type of tape you can take this type of tape I'm just making it fast so any tape just make sure it fits up there that's your mark you're gonna pull those bags up to that mark every time that's the way to do it and that's a simple way to do it now you know that everyone's gonna be in that same spot just center it and um, you've already made your mark for the center and you're gonna go into production and this is the way you're gonna do it so this gives you an idea of how to set up we're going to take the next stage. We're going to actually go over to the embroidery machine and embroider this. 
and we're going to be doing that next coming right up embroidery on a canvas bag okay we're at the machine we're gonna get this started Okay, you're embroidering on a canvas bag. I showed you a little bit about hooping, hooping canvas bags, the way to hoop a lot of things, let alone canvas bag. You can use those same things that I just showed you, the freestyle arm. If you're doing a small production job, you could use your ironing board. You've got two sides of that ironing board, the smaller side, like I showed you before, and then you have the square side on the other end. All we always have an iron board set up. It's just like it's easy to put it in the side, get it out of your way, or to just set it up there and use it. Especially for a little job or a little setup where you're just doing one piece for a customer, one or two pieces. And if you go into production, you really need something like the freestyle arm. It's gonna make it a lot faster, a lot easier. You can make some money. That's what we use almost all the time would be the freestyle arm because we don't do tons of ones and twosy stuff. We do a lot of production work. And that's where you make your money at. When you set up the job, um, it takes you a while to set this stuff up. They don't understand it and get everything done. And that all takes time and you gotta get paid for it. Uh, you can't just do this stuff and not get paid for your time. These machines cost a lot of money. And to maintain them, keep them going, all the stuff you have to buy, including the thread, the bobbin, oil, maintenance, you've got to make some money. So people have to understand these machines are computerized and ordering machines. They are not cheap, and you have to maintain them and keep them up, up, keep them up and running, making you money all the time. So as you can see, this is going to be a two color. We're going to put embroidery to you on there, on this bag. And it's just going to be white and gold for the little needles that I have. And uh, we're going to keep that going. Uh, of course, we always use the magnetic uh, bobbin by Filtech. And that way we can take that bobbin right down to the end almost and it holds the tension. And those tensions stay pretty steady. That's why we use them. It's a nice canvas bag. There's lots of different bags out there for tote bags. There's cotton, there's canvas. In this case, we've got a canvas bag. It does have a liner. Okay, the other side of the bag has some pockets on the outside. That's why we're doing it on this side. It'd be very hard to do it on the pockets. For one reason, the logo would have to be really small and you would have to use something different to hoop it. And I would say something in the neighborhood of the fast frame system if you were having to do that and the customer wanted that done. His logo would be a lot smaller and it would be a lot more difficult of a job. And when it's more difficult, you have to charge more money. So this job has approximately almost 7,000 stitches. Uh, we'll be doing this for a little bit. Uh, it's going to be sort of a long video, so I hope uh, I don't want to keep talking and talking. So I'm going to take a quick break. We'll come right back in just a little bit. Okay, we're finishing up this canvas bag. And you're watching the Embroidery to You channel. My name's Herb, and I'm trying to help you out here. Show you a few things. People have been asking me left and right. Show you the hooping process, which I'm doing. I'm going to be going back there in a little while. We're going to talk some more about that freestyle arm. And a few more things. So uh, I'm going to give you more information. And we're finishing this up. We're on our last two little needles. They're gold. And they're going to finish this little bag up. And then after that, we'll take a look at the bag real quick. So this is going to be about over here. Just enough of you. Well, few, not very long. I mean, we're talking... 100 to 200 stitches here and this is going to be over. 
So we'll take it to the next stage. We'll talk a little bit more about that freestyle arm. And I'll show you a few things there. And we'll take a look at the bag. Do some trimming on the outside, the inside of the bag, finish it off. There we are. We'll go right over there and check it out. Be right back. Okay, here we are at the freestyle arm. Let me show you. Hoopmaster makes the freestyle arm. What's it say on there? 15 cm. That's the size. That's the size that you normally use for most of these hooping that you're going to be doing almost all the time. This 15. Okay. So. Here it is. This is another way to hoop a bag. You know, if you don't have the magnetic hoop, you just have the hoop master. Of course. Put your regular hoop in there. 15 size hoop. Bag that thing. Same way except for here. You have little marks. 8, 9, 10. Once you know what that mark is, put a little piece of tape so you don't forget. Tape it just like I showed you before with the uh, magnetic hoop set up. And pull your bag up to that point. If it goes beyond one of those marks or something, you just make a mark so that you know where to pull that bag up to. So that's the way that works. So this is another setup that you can use for doing bags, 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 and that's what I say with production or even to make it easier for yourself, even with one or two pieces. This is a lot easier to do. Either way, a lot faster, of course, with the magnetic hoop. And it does a lot of different stuff, including go over buttons and it just does a great job. That's why I recommend it. That's why we use it. And But I like these regular hoops too. They work just fine for you. So let's take a look at the bag. How about it? That's the bag. Embroidered to you. So as you can see, if you're doing the bag on here, That's the way it would be. And you hoop it with your regular hoop. Lot. And you would be able to do it that way too. Be a lot easier with the cotton bag than the canvas bags. The canvas bags work a lot better with the magnetic hoop. But that's the way to do it. This has been Embroidery 2 channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time on the Embroidery 2 channel. If you have any questions, get back to me. I'll try to help you out. We'll see you next time and have a great day.